Hello and welcome back Escape Club readers. This is Krista and I'm going to do a review on The Seller by Natasha Preston. This book was published on March 1st, 2014 by Sourcebooks Fire. Nothing ever happens in the town of Longthorpe. That is, until 16-year-old Summer Robinson disappears without a trace. No family or police investigation can track her down. Spending months inside the cellar of the kidnapper with several other girls, Summer learns of Colin's abusive past and his thoughts of his victims being his family, his perfect, pure flowers. But flowers can't survive long cut off from the sun, and time is running out. So right in the beginning of the book, we see that... Um, Summer is taken off the streets by Colin. She's kidnapped by him, taken to his house, and put in his cellar. First, she, of course, is resistant, but the other girls that are already there that it, let her know pretty quickly that she has to obey and follow everything that he says because Colin's a dangerous person and, and will hurt them. And that's how these other girls have been able to survive so far is they... Um, respect him. They speak nicely to him. They um, go in the bedroom when requested. They cook for him and Colin goes out on these um, weekly, sometimes nightly runs to go out and pick up prostitutes off the street and murder them. He was definitely a mama's boy and when his mom passed it was um, very traumatic to him and he took this turn in his life. It's a very interesting story because we get to see different per perspectives of what's happening. We do get to experience Summer as she is kidnapped and taken to the home and the different events that are happening there at the house. We also get to um, see through her um, boyfriend Lewis's eyes who's really close to her family and he is the one that really keeps the search going even when the police have the case turns cold and then he himself gets pretty involved with looking into her disappearance and tracking her down and then we also get to see the perspective of Colin who um, is the kidnapper and he goes out on these treks to find other women that he doesn't agree with the way they're living or anything and we get to kind of see all sides of the story from um, each angle it's a pretty tra traumatic story. It's very, it's it's done with a, a kind of a light hand, you know. We don't see um, when the situations do get dark and there is trouble happening. The author handles it very well and it doesn't go into too much detail or too descriptive where, um, uh, you know, any teen would become too uncomfortable reading this story. It would be really good for discussion topics and really um, brings about a, a bunch of different things to talk about and um, just be aware about. See the different emotional and um, physical changes that happen when you go through something so traumatic in your life. So if you like mystery, horror books, um, that are a bit on the lighter side but still very really delve into the deep inner side of the characters. A book I'd recommend to teens that enjoy reading mystery thriller stories. Um, one of the strongest parts of the story is the connections that the characters make with each other. It's not only the devotion we see from Lewis tracking her down, but also that Summer has with the other girls that are down there. How strong they become as depending on each other. Um, anyway, so thanks for stopping by today, and I will see you guys again soon.